All right, I figured I'd do a little bit of video here, just kind of walk around this shed, showing where all the triggers are and everything. Um, this will be the mod of the month for April. Um, it is a 100 by 200 shop. I did not make this. TNA modding originally made this. I in-gamed it for him a while back, probably it was almost a year and a half ago. Didn't do the best job. Asked me the other day if he was if he wanted to release this. He said go for it. It needed to be redone, so I redid it. Did some of the doors. Made the interior for it. Did a better job in gaming it. I was pretty cooked at the time I was in gaming it, so yeah. So yeah, it's 100 by 200. Um, it's a bit of a not insulated. It's more so a storage shop. I mean, you could it could be a workshop too. It originally was a seed building. That's what. It's actually a real building in your life made by Morton Buildings. Um, in where's it based out? Vesta, Minnesota. Yeah, this is the inspiration behind it. He nailed it. He's a damn good modeler. So yeah. Um, yeah, it's four hundred thousand dollars in game. Um, I have it set up with Thunder's placeable building color selector has all of trailer park farms colors on it and I'm gonna add all of North Dakota modding mappings colors on it as well just so your buildings can match if you want to some of theirs use some somebody else's you know I just want to be able to match don't want to have a bunch of different colors or a bunch of colors that are close but not 100% accurate so yeah it has a bunch of different colors um, the first color selection is the main trim second the roof Third is the trim around the roof and the doors. And the fourth is the trim up here. So, yeah, plenty of color options. There's plenty of colors to run through here. You can really color it however you want. Personally, my favorite is this blue and gray look. This blue and tan look. This is, I think this is awesome. I think. How Morton has it built in real life, and how that guy had it built in real life. I think it looks incredible. It looks really good, and the model is incredible. It's, it's pretty nice. Um, it does use the normal map tin, no 3D tin, but the normal map tin looks better in 3D tin anyway. With the spec map, normal map, and height map on the building shader, so it looks really good from all angles. And when you go far out, it still looks good. Yeah. Um, kind of the main main entrance to the shop walk in here you're right you have a I believe this is a 40 foot hydro door the new pump that I modeled has hoses that are all the way that go all the way up here to the cylinders and they're all animated power lift door made in Minnesota yeah you get the point um, come over here get your light switch Picks up the whole building, nice and bright in here. Still gonna adjust the lights a little bit. I'm not. I don't like how it does that. I just don't like if you don't have it do that, it bleeds through really bad on the side. But I'll, I'll still tweak that a little bit. Um, got some pallet shelves right here. And this is the perfect spot for it because at least we found out on the server. Like if you're, you can pull up a seed tent right here. Stay. You're stacking seed totes right here. You can pull seed tote up right here, get a forklift out, and just load them quick, or your fertilizer totes, or whatever. It's a good, it's a good spot for pallet shelves. Um, let's go up top first. Go up here. You got your parts room. I was debating putting a bunch of boxes here, but it ain't worth the time. It's that'd be a lot of work doing a bunch of John Deere boxes, but got a bunch of shelves up here for part storage. Um, simple stuff. Go back down the stairs here and go into the office area. A nice meeting table with some chairs, TV. I'd have your Miller Lite sign, farm all sign, two tires, John Deere logo, John Deere. Desk number one, desk number two. Get your small kitchen area just with a sink and a fridge. I wasn't gonna go through had a stove. wasn't wasn't feeling it. Didn't think it would really be necessary. If you walk over here to your light switch, there you go. 
got your challenger sign that lights up because that's the best tractor manufacturer out there. Too bad Echo's getting rid of it. Lights turn on, neon sign lines up. So yeah, it's looks pretty nice. Got nice hardwood floors in here, white walls, nice trim all the way around it. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. Originally, did not look great, so I went back, redid all of it. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. It's a, details like this make it really worth using. Um, come back through here. This is your main roll door, I guess. Um, originally it had like no hinges. It was it was a pretty decent door model, but it had no hinges, just had panels. So I went back, I went through and did all the hinges. Added these horizontal parts, added the wheels, um, you know, I made the track, I made the lift, and how it mounts up here, and I made the springs. It's not perfect, but it's better than it was, and the animation is pretty good. It does jump around a little bit. I tried. It took me so long to animate it. Every single door, starting with that one, is a child of the one above it, so... Every rotation needed to be set 55 times. It took forever. It was a pain in the ass, but I think it was worth it. it turned out pretty pretty good. Looks good when it rolls up. I mean, it's a door. It, it rolls up and it works. It closes and it works. Yeah, it, I'm, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Another door over here. Another man door. Up. And then if you go down to the end of the shop here, you got the big... 50 foot bifold or hydro door. Like I said, this is a hundred foot that way. So this door, this door is plenty big for anything. You can, I mean, you can pull 45 foot headers in here with ease. It's really awesome, honestly. When you're, say, in the middle of harvest and you're going back to the farm tonight, you can just pull your combines in here. You don't need to take the header off or anything or leave them outside. You can just pull them straight in here. Plenty of room in here. This shop is absolutely massive. I think the living area over here is probably maybe 30 by 20 so still got a ton of room for drone equipment it's absolutely massive you'll never fill it up um yeah this is another power lift door with animated hoses on it um i'd say it turned out pretty good i'm pretty happy with how this looking uh tna did a fantastic job making the model uh, you get some skylights up here. Jerusta. New directions. Yeah, it, it looks... It's really cool. Really unique shed. Really happy to release it. I think a lot of people are going to like this. Because it's way different than anything I've seen so far. All the ones have been kind of... They've been kind of universal. They haven't really been specifically built per farm. So yeah, this one's... This one's really cool. And... And uh, yeah, it turned out great. Um, should be live Wednesday the 10th for Patreon testing, I'm hoping. Um, still need to tweak a couple things. Need to fix a little bit of a spot on the tin. Need to add the workshop trigger, because apparently people want that. And, um, make sure the texture's in the right spot. Yeah, it'll, it'll come out hopefully Wednesday. Hopefully it'll be in testing for I'm not too sure on how long. It might be integrated into my 4X map I plan on releasing as well. So if it's if it if I build it into that, it'll likely be released with the map public. Obviously, I wish I, it could come out sooner. But I just really want to make sure this is really dialed in and perfect because it's an awesome shed. A lot of people are going to use it. I'm super super thankful for DNA letting me in-game this and release it on his behalf. Um, he does amazing work. Probably the best, well, definitely, definitely the best person I've ever, best modeler I've seen for Farm Sim. He can literally build anything perfectly. It's kind of annoying. No glaze, but he's he's really talented. The shed is awesome. And if people like it, I'm telling you, if people like it, people got, I get a lot of downloads. Get some, maybe some new subscribers, new YouTube subscribers, new followers. I'll keep doing more. Is the, the killer was kind of, uh, I didn't know what to do for this roll-up door. This is kind of why I've been 
procrastinate in releasing this is I didn't know what to do with, with this roll-up door. Didn't really want to. Never felt like making a new one. It was really bland. It was boring. It looked bad. Wasn't a fan of it. I wasn't gonna release something like that. Door looked like that. And but I got permission from Trailer Park Farms to use his tin, his pallet shelves, and um, something. Yeah, I got permission from you need to game it and release it. So, yeah. Um, coming along good. Should be out in a couple of days, and I'm really happy to be able to share this with everybody. So, yeah. Thanks for uh, watching.